Hi, I'm Dr. Jake Glover. I'm the Senior Education Officer with IDEA and I just want to spend a couple minutes giving some examples of what makes IDEA unique. So we have a, a set of valid data. We have a system for collecting valid data that gives reliable information that leads to key knowledge that ultimately gives you wisdom on things that you might do differently uh, to improve student learning on your campus. We've partnered uh, with Campus Labs to create reports and feedback that is intuitive, uh, consumable, so even novice users uh, very quickly can get a snapshot and get um, get up to speed on the teaching and learning dynamic that's happening within their course. So when they would come to uh, our report here and, and you, they would see the research-based teaching methods that we have in our system and then see the links between those and our research-based learning objectives that have been targeted as important or essential for the course, then they would be able to take a look at that and go to the resources that are tied into the into that system. So no longer are they looking at an arbitrary number, a 3.6. Now they understand that that rating number is tied to a teaching method which has correlational strength to a learning objective that was set as important or essential for their course. And now there are some resources they can go to that even with a couple changes can really influence the, uh, the ability for students to learn when they teach the class. Now we've been doing this for four decades and we know that um, there are uh, factors outside of an instructor's control. So again, going back to that concept that we want everything to be consumable and intuitive, uh, an instructor can come to their dashboard like you see here and, and toggle between those adjusted scores or those raw scores because the adjusted score controls for those factors outside of their control based on our research. Uh, we have uh, over 300,000 courses in our IDEA database and so when they're looking at the comparative scores and they toggle between those comparisons, they can see their numbers, their ratings uh, in a context related to um, the national database, the discipline level database, and even at the institutional level. Well, we also recognize that not every course is created alike. So I've been talking about an, a kind of a diagnostic or a comprehensive view of the interaction between our research-based teaching methods and our research-based learning objectives, but not every, not every course would need that necessarily. So for example, a lab course or a um, practicum, maybe you would just want to use the research-based learning objectives and, and look at the resources that are tied to that. In some cases, you just want to look at the teaching. In fact, we have an instrument for all of these things and we take that teaching essentials uh, instrument and we apply it in a way that can be used during the course. So no longer do you have to wait until the end of the semester to get a picture of the teaching and learning dynamic, but you can actually utilize that during the course and start making changes even before the course is over. Now some of those same principles that we apply uh, at the, when we're talking about the individual student level um, and the individual course level, we also apply at the department level. Um, you can look at all of the information in an aggregate and get a sense at the curriculum level and those kinds of things, but then also in the environment um, and the, can't, the climate around a department. And so there's resources tied again that a department chair could then go to because our mission is to improve student learning and that can happen in the classroom and it can also happen within the context of the larger department. So our goal is to improve student learning by giving our clients our, and our partners um, key wisdom. And one of the ways that we operationalize that is we partner with all of our, our partner campuses to utilize the 21st century tools that are in their midst um, because any device that has access to the internet can collect data and also can view the reports. And we, we, come up, uh, we help them come up with those best practices and the strategies for what works in your campus context and also understanding the data Again, how to best utilize the resources that are tied to our research-based instruments. And we invite uh, conversations, whether we invite uh, that, whether that happens in an online context, whether we're coming to your campus or whether you're meeting with us and other IDEA users um, to generate ideas on how to take the data and make uh, research-based informed decisions on what might be done differently to improve student learning. So what makes IDEA unique? We, our focus is on student learning, uh, particularly the learning that's important or essential for a course. We know that there are factors outside of an instructor's control, so we have scores that adjust for that. We've done extensive validity and reliability over the last four decades, and we're a nonprofit, so we take all of this information and we share it back out to the public. So all of this is freely available on our website. 
We have a large comparative database that can be used in those reports for context, and it's also a flexible system. So you can customize and add your own questions uh, for your own campus uh, context as well. So that was very briefly uh, some few key ideas on what makes us unique. Please go to our website. Please reach out to us. Um, we would love to continue the conversation. Thank you for, thank you for your time.